we're going to look at arithmetic sequences here. Now, legend has it, I'm not sure how true this is, but Gauss, Carl Frederick Gauss, when he was at school in Germany, he was a very famous mathematician, uh, not when he was at school, obviously, but when he was at, let's say, primary school, he used to get on his teacher's wick. The teacher used to give him problems to do, and he'd go away and do them really quickly and ask for more work, and that's the worst thing that could happen to any teacher, of course. So the teacher thought one day, ah, I'll, 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 I'll teach him a lesson. Uh, I'll get him to add the first thousand numbers. And he said to old Gauss, ah, go away, Gauss, and add up. He said it in a German accent. Go away, Gauss, and add up the first thousand numbers. And don't come back to do I've done it. Or something like that in a German accent. And Gauss went away and... Oh, crikey, that's not going to happen. Gauss went away and... Um, I'll just do it for the first hundred numbers. Gauss went away and, and did it in really, really fast time, and the teacher was amazed. And here's how he did it. What he did is he wrote out, he didn't write out the first thousand numbers, he wrote a few, missed a load in this gap here, and then wrote the end few. And then, brilliantly, wrote the same list underneath, going backwards. Oop, 98 there. So he's writing the same list, going backwards. And then the last few numbers, if I write these backwards, would be like this. Okay, well, that doesn't help, you might think. But let's add, them, add up the columns now. This column is made up of 1 and 100, and that adds up to 101. Next column is 2, add 99, 101. Next column is 3 and 98, 101. 101, 101, 101, 101. 98 have 3, 101, 99 have 2, 101, always adds up to 101. So this list, which we're trying to add up, this list here, added to the same list backwards, in other words, two of our list, adds up to loads of 101s. How many 101s? Well, we can see there's 100 of them. So quick, very quickly we can see that the, that the total must be, in this case, 100 times 101 divided by 2. There's 100 lots of 101 in the third row, but we've added our list, we've added two of our lists there, the list forwards and the list backwards, so we need to divide it by 2. So it's really 50 times 101, which is 50, 100, and 50. Very easy. And that's how to get on your teacher's nerves, just be able to do these sort of things really quickly. Now, what I want to do is look at this sort of approach, but not not simply counting numbers like that. We're going to look at an arithmetic sequence. The first term in an arithmetic sequence is A. The second term is A plus D. Third term, A plus 2D. Now it's going to stop fitting in this, isn't it? Next, A plus 3D. Then A plus 4D. Quickly get bored of that, so I'll write... Get, skip out a load and end up at the last last few numbers a plus n minus 3 times d not, not 3 a plus n minus 2 times d remember that the last number in an arithmetic sequence the nth number sorry is a plus n minus 1d so if I write that here a plus n minus 1 is the last number on our list. Now if we now write that same list backwards, I'm going to find that this isn't going to fit on very well, so I'll make this a lot smaller here. Uh, write the list backwards, a plus n minus 1 d, can go a bit bigger than that, uh, a plus n minus 1 d there. In this box will be the number just before that, which is a plus n minus 2 times d. I'll centre that and make it smaller so it fits in. The one in here would be a plus one for it would be n minus three differences. So remember, we're writing the same list as going forwards, only we're going backwards. Uh, the one after that, last one, I'll write a plus n minus four differences. So not as many differences added here because it's earlier in the list as we go forwards. Miss out a load. The one under here is the first number, which is just A. Don't want that. No, just want A. Thank you. And the one before, the one 
before that would be the second number in the forwards list which is A plus D and now adding up the columns we get this add this this add this if you write it out you get 2A plus N minus 1D 2A plus N minus 1D enter that and then just make it a bit smaller so you can actually see it there this number here is 2A again but this two added together this column 2A add N minus 2D add D now if you wrote that out in full 2A add N minus 2D add D you'd find you get 2A add N minus 1D place that in there here 2A add N minus 1D here 2A add N minus 1D it's exactly the same as Gauss did only with algebra instead of just numbers here 2A add N minus 1D same again and here 2A add N minus 1D so in general in general the, the total of all this lot is just a load of these 2A plus N minus 1Ds how many of them have we got well there's N terms in this list so it's N terms in our list times the 2A plus N minus 1D and the last thing to remember is that we've added up the list twice once we've written forwards then we wrote it backwards and added the two together so we need to divide this by two so half n times 2a plus n minus 1d is a formula for adding up uh, the first n terms of an arithmetic series and we could write that as sum of the first n terms equals that so this sum sn means sum of the first n terms uh, one brief thing here you are expected to be able to do this so learn it I wouldn't even bother memorising the entire process just learn the principle of writing the list forwards writing the list backwards adding them together and that gives you this formula here